Dodge with another episode of the American Outsider where I talk about and look at products and things related to the American system that I run in my basement. Today I have a new product that I picked up today to show you. It is, if I can get this to focus in quickly, it is. Maricland model number 36202. It is an electric locomotive in Germany. It is class BR102, but it's actually built by the Czech company Skoda. Now, many of you may know your history and know that Skoda uh, was actually part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire and made the cannons and weaponry for the Austro-Hungarian Empire. And then after World War I, when Czechoslovakia was made an independent nation in 1918, Skoda manufactured all kinds of things for uh, Czechoslovakia. And then when the Czech Republic and Slovakia broke away, Skoda continues to make cars and locomotives and all kinds of things for the Czech government and Czech people, as well as you can go buy a Skoda coffee maker. Anyhow, um, this one is not a new release. Although it was new, I bought this out of a shop. I did not buy this from my normal shop, uh, Model Bahnshop Lippe in Germany. I bought this from one of my favorite American shops, AJC Kids, uh, down near Dallas, Texas. Uh, it's actually Annie, Jewel, and Charlie and kids is the name of the shop, but it's just easier to remember AJC Kids. And that's where you'd look it up. Um, I needed a couple of things and I didn't want to do a big Lippa order. And uh, I happened to notice that they had this in stock and I had hemmed and hawed about getting this because um, this came out in 2019. It might have been a late 2019 release, early 2020, but it is a couple of years old. And Merklin released three versions of this. The most common one is uh, the standard Czech Railways uh, Czeska Drei uh, locomotive. It pulls passenger cars, regional, regio, commuter traffic. Um, but then Merklin also released a limited edition version which has the Czech flag on it which was celebrating 100 years of Czech independence since it broke away uh, from the Austro-Hungarian Empire. And then there is this version which is the Deutsche Bahn Fährkehrswold, the German rail system uh, traffic red livery. And I had hemmed and hawed for a couple of years about getting the 102 in the Czech flag livery because I just thought it was a really cool looking uh, livery. But I never did because there were other things uh, I was looking at and it didn't fit my rules of it has to be something I've ridden on or been created or connected with. But finally um, I was looking for some other things and they had this on sale. This originally retailed at $279. I got it for $250. Um, and um, this has uh, 16 sound and light functions. It comes with the MFX Plus decoder in it. Before we take a look at it, I did weigh it. Uh, it's a unique one. It weighed in at 397 grams. And if you go back to the last few videos, I did the 245, the um, 218, the 143, the Class 101 in Deutsche Bahn Red, and I even weighed the uh, Deutsche Bahn Museum one. And those were all 480 to 540 um, grams. And this guy was only 397, so he weighs a third less, a third to a quarter less than those other guys. And Traditionally, when they don't weigh a lot, they don't tend to pull a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and run this guy in, and then we'll take a look at him uh, up close, look at some of the functions, and then we will see how well he pulls a small rake of cars and see if he can handle 
the going up the slope in the back. Okay? All right, so here I've got it up on the train table. And uh, again, you can see that traditional Deutsche Bahn Fair Cares Road, the modern red livery that is on all their locomotives. Front end detailing, pretty good. Up top, you can see it's not as highly detailed as uh, some locomotives, but definitely some color and some details in there. A little bit more than maybe the Merklin 143 or the uh, 101. But it is a slightly different looking loco because it's made by Skoda and not Bombardier and Siemens. So it definitely has a little bit of unique, if you know your German locomotives, especially modern era. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this was made by Skoda. And uh, you'll usually see it as a Class 380 in the Czech Republic. But in Germany, it is the Class 102. It is a commuter traffic train. It is not high speed. It is commuter traffic. Uh, both in the Czech Republic and in Germany. So let's look at some of the functions here real quick. Obviously you have the lights, directional change, looking good. And there are the myriad of station announcements as sound functions. That was function two. Meine Damen und Herren, wir warten noch auf Anschlussreisende. Deshalb verzögert sich die Abfahrt unseres Zuges. Die Dauer ist noch nicht abzusehen. Ich bitte um Ihr Verständnis und werde Sie weiter informieren. And F15. Your conductor's whistle. That's a heavy one. And then you have your horns, and this one's crazy. And the short horn. And then the rest are your various running sounds. I think earlier I said the the one announcement was F2. That was actually F1. This is F2. I always forget the F start was zero. Nice little brake effect. We'll shut it down. All right, so not the most elaborately detailed, but definitely based on other things I've gotten from Merklin, worth its money. A little close up, you can see the print. There's the even Skoda symbol there and all the information printed nicely. Even the smallest print is quite clear and detailed. You've got the sunken in. They're technically uh, separately fitted handrails, but they're uh, recessed in the side handles, not the door handles themselves. Windshield wiper separately fixed. A lot of people like that. So again, it's it's a sharp loco. Uh, when you have so many DB Red locomotives, like the 101s and the 146s and 147s, uh, Maybe they tend to all bleed into one, but uh, yeah, it's a little different. Again, part of me wanted to get the uh, Czech anniversary one, but uh, I decided to go with the German one because I have a lot of German uh, commuter uh, wagons, passenger wagons, and I can just rotate them. The 146s, the 147s, the 143s, and now the 102. So, let's let this uh, 
He's already been run in, so let's attach some cars and see how it handles going up the ramp. Be right back. I have fitted it with uh, five, or uh, yeah, five check, actually EC, which is high speed traffic, but since it's a check built train, I thought I'd go with check cars. They were already on the track. So uh, you'll hear some of the running sounds, catch it passing, then we'll watch it go around. All right, let's see how it handles its first going up the hill. Let's see if there's any slowdown. Hey, that's actually pretty good. I did not detect any slowdown. If you did, you can let me know in the comments, but uh, that was its first time going up the incline and it's pulling five long cars. That was... Pretty impressive for its first time up. Did that at about a scale speed of 60 miles an hour. So, roughly 90 kilometers an hour. So here we go again. And I'm not seeing any slowdown. That is good. I talked about it on my live stream on Friday when I mentioned the light weight on this that I was worried it might not handle it. But give credit where credit is due. That's a strong motor and gripping on the wheels because that went up that incline pulling. And those are not lightweight cars there. So... Let's call that a win. All right, surprisingly, even at that lighter weight of only 397 grams, it handled that incline very well. Now we saw that that Pico Class 143 a few months back did not handle that incline well, nor did the old 101, the new 101, and the new 245 handled it very well. This class 102, impressively, with five long standard cars behind it, which is what it would pull. It would not be pulling a long rake of high-speed cars. It would be pulling anywhere from three to five regional trains, although maybe more in certain areas. So let's call it for now. Obviously, it's going to have to do a lot more running in, but for its first trial, first time up that incline, handled it very well. 
Obviously, as with every locomotive, time will tell. Some come out of the box looking great and run well, and then give them two, three, four, five, six months down the line, the little issues show up. But it ran smoothly, it ran quietly, when I didn't have the sound on it, when it was running in, and uh, it handled its weight going up. Now, we'll try it with some of the double-decker Regio bonds, maybe on a live stream uh, coming up. But for now, for my money, I feel like I got some bang for the buck there. So that is the new, for me, <laughs> Class 102. Again, it is not a new model. It came out either, I think it was, a, I'd have to go back and look, but it was new for 2019 or new for 2020, maybe fall of 2019 items. But uh, there it is, a really nice, slightly different locomotive made by Skoda as opposed to all the Bombardier and uh, Siemens locomotives that I have. So, until my next episode, whenever it might be, this is Anthony Dodge for the Maryland Outsider. Avita Zane Chus and happy trains. Mm -hmm.